Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the World of Wheels in Milwaukee. Come out to any World of Wheels show and you're gonna have a great time. Not only that, but you're gonna see some unique cars. And when you think of World of Wheels custom cars, John, what's your last name? Burnside. John Burnside, well, this is a car that you would think should be the cover car. John, what did you bring today? I brought a 1932 Ford three-window coupe. And uh, the, the 32 Ford is, I mean, just a classic design oh, yeah. to begin with. Yep. I mean, uh, when you think hot rod, this is it. And there's no better hot rod. First of all, when did you first get this car? Uh, we got this car in like June of 2017. And how long did it take to build this? And you have a shop. Go ahead. I have a shop. A shop. And, Shout out. And, and there's, I have three, I have three guys that help me. Yeah. And uh, we kind of, uh, I have, I have the dream life. I get to build and play with cars for a living. And where's your you shop know, at? In Franklin, Wisconsin. And how do people get there? Is there a website? Uh, yes, uh, uh, www.coolcustomshotrodshop.com. Is it spelled C Cool and C Custom? Yep, K U S T O M S. I was a bad speller. Okay, so custom spelled that way. Step right alongside me. And this, tell me how you ended up with that. Um, the car, when it came to us, was yellow gel coat. And I said to the owner, wanted it red. And I said, we can do whatever you want. And he kind of let me kind of do what I wanted to do. And uh, <laughs> the color is one off. How awesome is it when you have a customer who says that? Just, just let, let just, us do what you think you should do. Well, he obviously trusted you because yes. he's seen what you can do. He's a longtime family friend. And um, let's, it's, it's just been a pleasure. Let's talk about some of the pieces. Look at that. Yes, I machined that. Uh, the gas cap is uh, also is also one off. Um, the the grill area down below there, we did close that all off, and the paint. <laughs> Just amazing. You know, I I always I can't I, I don't have the skill sets for this, but I just really respect when you have stuff like this. I mean, even you can see the chrome, you know, mm -hmm. here, just everything. And even, let me just show you the baby stuff you wouldn't normally see, like that. That custom S in the front there. Now, 32, was there still a hole in there at the time? Yeah, there was, we filled that. And we put the truck headlights on it. I just like the big headlight look. I think it looks classic. Yeah, tell me what, what this is. How did you fill this? Uh, what we did was we welded a panel in and punched holes in it and welded it in and there is a piece of stainless screening behind it to just finish it off and give it give it more of a custom look. Yeah, and let's, you know, we've got the, the side open, but here you don't have the leather strapping. Yep. And here we have it open. Yep. Um, let me just uh, go ahead. Well, These are off a 365 Porsche. I sent oh, really? them. I sent away to Germany for them, and we got so lucky. I ordered the color, and I'm like, "Wow, this is." Tell me what's going on here with the uh, paint. 24 karat gold leaf uh, stripe that we put on there. Just wanted to just give give it a little something to pop, make it pop. And the same piece we have here, we see that yep. integrated into yep. the air cleaner. Yep, that built that one off and. Just kind of clean the motor up, make it look nice and clean, sanitary. And look at the piece on the firewall. Tell me about the firewall here. I the firewall is just flat fiberglass, and I made an aluminum piece. And I like the engine turn. We kind of did that theme through some of the other parts of the car, and just tried to give the car that one-off custom look. Oh, I, I think you've accomplished that. And then, now, were there originally rivets in them? <coughs> no, we, I'm sorry. All we, those uh, little pieces. Yep, we, uh, we, we just kind of put that in there to just kind of finish that off. And the same thing, too, with the roof. And here's the gas cap. Yep. Should I open it? Sure. I very didn't see that coming. I thought it was going to be a twist very, off. Very simple and easy. Very simple and easy. Tell me about these tail lights. Everybody, there, there's no new tail lights on the market, and to put something that everybody has in a catalog, and I have a, I, I was a tool and die maker for 28 years before I 
started my hot rod shop and I machined that in house and we machined the bezels for the exhaust. And then we made this cool cover. I didn't want to just leave a nine inch Ford cover in the back and uh, so we bought a quick change cover from one of the local circle track supply companies and I, I made the cover. <laughs> Can I give it? Let me, let me step back and let's show people the back of the car. Come on back with me. Now it says Rick's 32. Yep, and the owner is Rick, is uh, the, the owner of the car. And he's allowing us to share it today. Yes. And this is the first time this car's ever been videoed. Yes. So can we show the trunk? Sure. More of that whole yep. piece. Yep. And then we even took and made a panel up underneath and of, finished of, that off to give that more John, of a custom look. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't want to miss a beat. There's where our battery is in the nice little box. Wow, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, we'll close that and I'll give people one more overall rear end look. Let me give it to them. This, this is my favorite view of your car. Yes. It is really nice. That rake right there. You know, everybody says you can build a cool car, but stance is everything. That stance is great. Let me show it from, can we, just for the moment, can we close the hood area sure. just because I want to give them the full profile of this one. Let me get down low. Now that says World of Wheels. When you think customs, well, this is it. Okay, I'm in. What's going on with the back wheels here that are super cool? These are uh, rocket injector wheels and we took and I put them in my milling machine and we dimpled the outer part of the rim and then I machined the center and then put these marks in it and then we took it and painted it. I just, everybody's painting the wheels now. It's like kind of the new trend. And, Obviously the Woolwoods in the background. Yep. It's just like a full-size Hot Wheel. Thank and you. I really love the front rims too. I mean, they just do it right. And that's the launch wheel. And we did the same thing, dimple the outer edge of the wheel and just give it a little one-off. And the framing all chrome. Show me the interior, shall you? I'm going to step back so people can kind of enjoy how this opens. That's cool. <laughs> That's, tell me what's going on in the interior. We made these More panels. More of these holes. Yep. We made these panels out of aluminum and then covered them in, in vinyl. And the headliner is a one piece okay, headliner smooth smoking. headliner. Wow. It took me three hours of sweat and tears to. The, uh, may I sit in it? Can I sit in it, John? Sure. Thanks. And I know you drive this. Yes. What is the reaction when you're driving this on the street? Oh, people, it turns heads like there's an automobile. I mean, it's absolutely insane. It's really cool when you're <laughs> driving on the road. left and right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get a lot of pictures. It's really cool. And yet the first video yep. on my car story. Well, John, I'm uh, so impressed. that, And thank you for the people at the World of Wheels who allow me to come to the shows. Uh, we're going to put your car up front. So there will be more cars coming from the World of Wheels Thank at uh, both Chicago and Milwaukee. But uh, we're going to put yours up right away so that people will see this car and will want to come see it. So when you see this video on Friday, come out to the show uh, because it's it's going on right now in Wisconsin. So let's. Uh, there's one thing left to do, and that's fire it up. And uh, do me one favor, just before. We'll, well, we'll fire it up. But when I'm in the back, hit the hit the brakes because I want to see your custom okay. lights. All right. So let's open this hood. I want to see that engine do its thing. 
It's not going to fall down, is no, it? No, it shouldn't. Okay. Because I was going to say, I'll hold the hood if we need to. on because I just want to see what that's going to look like. Like that. Good stuff right there. What a treat. What fun. Always good coming up to Milwaukee and seeing the friends up there. And uh, John, a real treat. I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction for your great car. Great thank, build. Thank you so much for putting this on here. No problem. One more time with your website. Uh, it's coolcustoms.com. So spell it for me. C-O-L-K-U-S-T-O-M-S.com. There you go. Thanks for being on the channel. Thank you.